I remember this distinctly. I got a phone call um, from my manager saying, Michael Jackson is trying to get in touch with you. And I was pretty starstruck, you know, it's like, really? Um, in, in a way, you get that feeling of like, I guess I have arrived, you know? Um, and so I had them give him my hotel number and he called me up in my room and it was that voice, you know, on the other end of the phone. And he said, I'd like you to play on my record, you know? So I was like, okay, you know? And I went down to the studio, I went to the record plant in LA and I met him there and he was uh, with his date at the time. Yeah, which was Brooke Shields, right? And he just said, nice to meet you. This is Brooke, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna go to dinner. And that's how it started and just left me with the music. And I had pretty much free reign to do whatever it was that I wanted with the music they gave me. We had a relationship based on that sort of kind of professionalism for me to just have the freedom to do my thing. And he sort of accepted that.